Here are five applications that are too good to be free. There are a lot of free applications you can download, some better than others. But when I think of free applications, there's a selected few that are almost too good to be free. These are in no particular order, and we'll start with DaVinci Resolve. Resolve is an incredible video editing software and the industry leader for color grading. It fully compares to Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, except it's free. There's a studio version you can upgrade to, but the free version of Resolve is insanely packed with features and has all the necessary features for most people. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And because it's free, there are a ton of tutorials on YouTube if you're interested in learning to use it. I have a long background in video editing, and I seriously can't emphasize how crazy it is that software this good is available to everyone for free. If you've ever watched TV or movies, I can guarantee you've watched content that was color graded in Resolve. Next up, Blender. Blender is a software that can be used to create and animate 3D CG content. It supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline, modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, and motion tracking, even video editing and game creation. Again, just like Resolve, it is mind-blowing that something this powerful is available to everyone completely free. Blender is packed with features, and it's also pretty hard to learn to use. If you're interested, I highly recommend checking out Blender Guru on YouTube. His donut tutorial is legendary, and I can confidently say it might just be the best tutorial for any software I've ever seen. I had zero experience using Blender, but by following his tutorial, I was able to make this donut animation. Not bad for a first-timer, right? Blender is open source and works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Next, we have something different. Grammarly. I always knew about Grammarly, but never cared enough to try it until I signed up for a website that was automatically using a Grammarly plugin in their messaging. It's an AI-powered writing assistant that scans your text, fixes typos and grammar, and sometimes gives you suggestions for alternative ways to structure your sentence. My spelling and grammar is pretty good to begin with, but I was surprised to see how much Grammarly was able to improve my text, whether it's emails at work, blog posts, or even writing YouTube titles and descriptions. They have an app for your browser and a separate app that covers all the applications you use, so make sure to download Grammarly Desktop. I find it much more useful than the browser plugin. It has a premium version available, but I've been happy with the free option. Next app on our list is OBS Studio. This is a live streaming software available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. It allows you to create live streams and video recordings using external cameras, microphones, downloaded video clips, audio files, and pretty much anything one might incorporate in a live stream. Last but not least, VLC Media Player. This has always been one of those applications I download on every new computer I set up. It's a media player that supports pretty much any file format you throw at it, whether that's audio or video. I don't use it every day, but whenever I come across a format that doesn't open on QuickTime Player, you can count on VLC. And that wraps up our top five apps that are too good to be free. I know everyone has their own favorites, so drop me a comment below with your top five. Or if you think I missed a good one from this video, let me know what I'm sleeping on. Thanks for watching. See you next time.